As the nights draw in, a chance to discover the dark. And the darkness is nowhere more beautiful than on Exmoor. So Exmoor's got some of the darkest skies in all of the UK. And in fact, it was the very first international dark sky reserve in all of Europe, designated back in 2011. So it's something we're really proud of. And the Dark Skies Festival is a great opportunity over kind of two or three weeks in October every year to bring everybody together and to really celebrate our dark skies, to get out there and experience them. We've had over 60 events over the course of the last couple of weeks, of which today, tonight is one of them. So says Dan James, who helps run a series of events every October to promote a love of dark skies. Tonight, a moonlit walk around Wimbleball Lake. There's a whole host of events this month, from dusk safaris to children's competitions. The aim? To encourage us to look at the night sky afresh. It's really important we look after our dark skies there, an increasingly rare commodity as the world develops further and further, less and less stars are available to see. And it doesn't only impact kind of people's enjoyment of the dark skies, but it also impacts wildlife. It can impact human health in terms of kind of your sleep patterns and rhythms. So, yeah, it's really important that we all do what we can. And it's not about not having any light, but it's about the right light in the right place. Luke Hother from South West Lakes Trust believes with a few precautions anyone can enjoy the sky at night. If you get the, the night sky perfect, so it's crystal clear, the, the sky is absolutely phenomenal, beautiful. Um, but also we are on the, on the, on the National Park, so uh, it can be uh, adverse weather conditions, a bit windy, a bit blustery, a bit wet. So uh, I definitely recommend always checking the forecast before you go for a night stroll. Also definitely make sure that you've got uh, an understanding of the location, OS map. Uh, making sure you've got what three words just in case and that you know the routes well before you, before you take it at night. There are six dark sky reserves in the UK, from Northumberland down to Exmoor. Each one a chance to look at thousands of stars, satellites and planets. And in a world where urbanisation and light pollution dominate, these skies are a rare and precious thing. Jeff Moody, GB News.